When we think of arthritis and specifically osteoarthritis, we tend to focus on the large joints of the body, the knee, the hip, the shoulder. But arthritis of joints like the CMC or basal joint at the base of the thumb or the first MTP joint of the foot, what people think of as the ball of the foot, if they're, they can be affected by arthritis as well. So would regenerative treatments like PRP or stem cells or exosomes be helpful for these small joints? I'm Dr. David Geyer, triple board certified orthopedic surgeon, sports medicine specialist, an anti-aging and regenerative medicine expert. I help you feel, look, and perform your best regardless of age or injury. So just a week ago, I posted a video about some of these regenerative treatments for large joint arthritis, and that was PRP and stem cells and exosomes for arthritis of the hip and the knee. And again, as I say in all these modern medicine videos, all these regenerative treatments are considered experimental by the FDA. They're not covered by insurance. You're paying out of pocket and a lot of times a lot of money out of pocket, but it is sometimes an option for people that have pretty bad arthritis and it's limiting their symptoms and their ability to do what they want to do. And they really don't want to undergo any kind of, whether it's a joint replacement surgery or whatever else uh, that is being proposed surgically. So they do try something like PRP or stem cells or exosomes uh, to try to do that. I'm not promoting these treatments. I'm not telling you you should do them. I just want to put more information out there so that you can have an informed discussion with your doctor or orthopedic surgeon. And if you decide to do them, get them by that doctor or orthopedic surgeon. Now, as I talked about in videos about hip and knee arthritis, there is good data on PRP for arthritis. There's some early data on stem cells and exosomes for large joint osteoarthritis that is promising. I think we're still a long way from, especially with the stem cells and exosomes, from studies that are basically randomized, double-blinded, placebo-controlled trials where you compare a half of the group that got something like exosomes with the other half that got, say, cortisone or that got saline injections. Uh, and so that is ultimately going to be needed with good results before the FDA is ever going to approve these treatments. I think they're at least a decade off. I don't see this changing anytime soon from the experimental standpoint, but there is early data, especially case series that show there and, and animal studies as well, showing potential benefits for large joint arthritis. The same disease process is going on with small joint arthritis, whether that's, it's the basal joint or the CMC joint of the thumb, if you can see that, or the first MTP joint, first metatarsophalangeal joint, what we consider uh, the, where's my foot model here? The uh, ball of the foot, uh, there's a small joint there that gets arthritis fairly commonly, and that's called hallux rigidus, and it could potentially be beneficial there, whether that's, again, PRP or exosomes injected directly into that joint. Peptides, BPC-157, thymus and beta-4, hard to know how much role by themselves they would have. Again, these are treatments that typically the patient gives him or herself as injections every day, or it depends on the peptide, how often you have to do it by themselves. It's hard for me to really know how much necessarily that help might help with the pain, but maybe where it might be more beneficial is in conjunction with an injection done by the doctor or orthopedic surgeon directly into the joint, PRP or exosomes or stem cells. Again, worth talking to your doctor about and figuring out the best options for you. All right. I'd love to hear your experience with your injury or condition, especially arthritis. Leave those in the comments below. Just understand if you leave a comment or leave a question in the comments, I can't respond with medical advice. But what I try to do is answer that question in a future video. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. Click the bell to be notified when I release a new video and when I start live streams like my Ask Dr. Guy or Live shows. Thanks for watching. I look forward to helping you feel, look, and perform better than ever.